Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Tongue twisters. Official state things. Museums. War. NBA retired jerseys and zoology. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make the great men of France circa 1780 are immortalized in the Grand Homme Gallery of this museum. What is the new... Okay, player one. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! So the highlight of Argentina's National History Museum in this city is Candido Lopez's historical canvases. What is Buenos Aires? It's player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one. Jimmy? New York's Museum of Modern Art exhibits paintings that feature this technique in which tiny dots of color seem to blend together. Let's hear it, player one. What is, uh... Good. Yeah! Player one. Works by Titian, Raphael, and others sold by the USSR to Andrew Mellon became the core of this DC museum. Player one. What is the National Gallery of Art? Yes. <laughs> Player the one. Athenaeum in Hartford, Connecticut bears the name of this founder. No relation to Longfellow. It's player one. <laughs> Select again. Los Angeles Lakers, number 32. It's player one. Who is uh, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Oh. No, sorry. Anyone else? Yes, player two. Oh. <sighs> Any other takers? Yes, player three? Correct. <laughs> player three? Where do we start? Philadelphia 76ers number six. Yes, player one? Who is Julius Irving? That is correct. <laughs> player one? Boston Celtics number 33. Yes, player one? Who is Bird? <laughs> That's it. So, Indiana Pacers, number 31. Let's hear it, player one. Who is uh, Reggie Miller? Good. <laughs> we read New York Knicks, number 33. Yes, player one? Right. 
Layer one, choose again. It rains as West Virginia's official state butterfly. Player one? Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Player when one? Virginia got a state one of these animals, the governor's office released a poem that mentioned Adam West. It's player one. Right. <laughs> you sound scary, but Colorado's official state fish is the greenback cutthroat type of this. It's player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. You get the syringa, also known as the mock orange, is Idaho's official state this? Yes, player one? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we it's the Daily Double. <laughs> yeah. Woo. You are in first place. All right, here's your clue. Appropriately, the official state cantata of Connecticut has this spicy name. That puts you even further ahead. You get to pick. She sells seashells by this location. What's the seashore? Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> you in Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, these windy storms hardly ever happen. What are hurricanes? It's player one. Correct. <laughs> One, one of these animals sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk. What is a skunk? Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> player one? These animals shouldn't sleep in a shack. These animals should sleep in a shed. What are sheep? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> The sawing a saw I ever saw saw was the saw I saw saw in this land of opportunity state. What is Arkansas? Player one? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you get to pick. Henry V and Joan of Arc both fought in this lengthy struggle between England and France. What is the Hundred Years' War? Player one? Right. <laughs> Here's Kelly from our Clue Crew with the clue. Gas masks became a key part of a soldier's equipment after poison gas was used at the Second Battle of Ypres during this war. Okay, player one. What is war one? Hey, you're right. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player in the one. biggest amphibious invasion in history, 350,000 troops invaded this French region in 1944. Okay, player one. Yeah! That's right, way to go. Yeah. The 262 one. model from this German manufacturer was the world's first operational fighter jet. Okay, player one. What is a fighter? Sorry, that's wrong. Oh. Any other takers? It's player three. First right. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection as we... The oldest army unit in the world is this national one, founded in 1506 that guards the Pope. What is the Swiss Corps the Swiss Guard? Let's hear it, player one. Yes. Player one, the giant Pacific this may have as many as 1,600 suckers on its arms. They help it to taste and touch. Yes, player one. What is an octopus? Yep. <laughs> player one. While it doesn't breathe fire, the dragon named for this Indonesian island does kill its prey with its deadly saliva. What is Komodo? Yes, player one. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Doggone it, a mud puppy isn't a little doggy, but a large one of these amphibians. What is a frog? It's player one. 
Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the response we were looking for. A salamander. Oh, okay. Please. A type of this snake that sounds like a James Clavell novel is Australia's deadliest and most feared. Let's hear it, player one. What is, uh, let's see, what is a taipan? Correct. <laughs> and here's the thousand dollar clue. The rare white alligator has a condition called leucism, meaning it lacks this skin pigment. What is melanin? Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> the double jeopardy round will begin right after this. Clues are worth four hundred to two thousand dollars in these categories. World Heritage Sites Animal Names Sports Illustrated Magic Numbers American History Make No Myth Take and Food Words and Phrases Where do we begin, Player 2? Breakfast dish that can also mean to flatten. What is a pancake dip? Let's hear it, Player 1. Yeah! That's correct. Okay. In 1966, the U.S. government banned M-80s and these round red firecrackers. What Let's hear it, player are? one. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> Used before barrel, it suggests the homespun style and philosophy of rural folk. What is cracker? Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Player one? <laughs> Answer. The first of the daily doubles. And you... All right, here's your clue. It's the spicy two-word name for a type of knot that lets you join a rope to a rail or a post. What is a clove hitch? You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Please. Here's Sarah. She'll show you. A nursery rhyme says, This person, this person. Mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Player one? Cobbler. Yes. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our... At Jefferson Davis's suggestion, in 1855, Congress bought some of these animals from Egypt for the Southwest. Yes, player one? What are our camels? Right. <laughs> You, Franklin Pierce's hope for glory in this war ended when he was thrown from his horse and injured. Let's hear it, player one. What is the civil war? No, no that's not right. Anyone else? Okay, player three. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Of course, I just figured it out. Just yes, player two. That's right, way to go. On the plus side again. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. The ancient Pueblo peoples who built cliff dwellings such as these are also known as the Anasazi, a word meaning enemy in the language of this largest of U.S. tribes. Let's hear it, player one. I will say who are the Apache. <sighs> Anyone else? Here's the correct response. The Navajo. All right. Player two, you pick again, please. Baseball, 4,192 hits. It's player one. Who is, um, Hank Aaron? No. Uh... 
Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? The correct response is Pete Rose. Player two, choose again. Hockey, 92 goals. Okay, player one. That's correct. Oh, baseball, 2,131 consecutive games. Who is Lou Gehrig? Okay, player one. No, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. Cal Ripken. We were track and field, 29 feet, two and a half inches. Okay, player one. Who is Carl Lewis? Or no, Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens. Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? It's player three. Yeah! Right. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. Player three has con football, 63 yards. Okay, player one. Who is, uh, John oh. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? We're talking about Tom Dempsey. Oh, okay. I was thinking of him for some reason. Player three, back to you for our next selection. In November of 1903, troops from the USS Nashville were used to stop Colombians from reaching this now capital city. Player one. What is uh, Panama City? Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Player Admitted one. as the 22nd state in 1819, it seceded in 1861 and was readmitted in 1868. Let's hear it, Player One. I'm going to say what is... Uh... Virginia? No. Anyone else? Yes, player two. Alabama. Good. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we... In Roman myth, Nenia, whose name means dirge, presided over these ceremonies. Okay, player one. That's correct. Player one. In Egyptian myth, the god Kunum made humans on a potter's wheel using silt from this river. What is the Nile? Player one? Good for you! <laughs> Player In a one? Botticelli painting, Zephyrus, the west wind, is blowing this full-figured newborn to shore. It's player one. Who is Apollo? No. <gasps> Anyone else? The correct response is Venus. Select again. This god of earthquakes called Rhea Mom and spent a lot of time in the water. It's player one. Who is Poseidon? Right you are. Please. In Wagner's ring cycle, this Norse god is known as Donner. Let's hear it, player one. No, sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? The correct response is Thor.
Player one, pick again. You'll get an A for effort for knowing the name of this mammal comes from Afrikaans for earth pig. What's an aardvark? Yes, player one. <laughs> That's right, way to go. Yeah! Woo! You, its name comes from Greek words meaning nose horned. What is a rhinoceros? Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Sarah will present this clue. This large, partly white seabird derives its name in part from the Latin word for white. Yes, player one. What is a pelican? Oh. No. Any other takers? Player two. Albatross? That's it. Player two, start us. The name of this red-haired denizen of Borneo's rainforests is Melee for Forest Man. What is an orangutan? Okay, player one. That's correct. <laughs> We're noted for its strength. This breed of horse was named for a school teacher. Player one. What is No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player two. Morgan? Correct. <laughs> player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? This entire Italian city, spread over 118 islands, is a World Heritage Site. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> Player one, let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. The pyramid known as the castle is one of the wonders of this ancient Mayan city. What is Chichen Itza? Yes, Player one. <laughs> right you are. Please. This South American capital didn't exist 60 years ago. It's Player one. What is Brasilia? Yep. <laughs> Player one. Answer. <laughs> the second daily double. And you... Okay, here is the clue. You can visit this country's Lasso Meadows historic park even if you're not a Viking. What is... Canada? Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? A visit to this country's Komodo National Park shouldn't drag on all day. What is Indonesia? Yes, player one. <laughs> yeah, <good. laughs> all three, all three of you will participate in Final Jeopardy right after this. So much depends on how you do in the Final Jeopardy category, which today is organizations. What are you going to wait? Now it's time for the final Jeopardy clue, and here it is. In 2003, Allied Command Europe and Allied Command Atlantic, parts of this organization, merged. What did you put as your response? You put UNESCO? And that will cost you. What did you say? You chose... Nathan. With that correct response, you will gain... Let's see your response. I also said Nathan, so I know with, with that correct response, you will gain... Congratulations, <laughs> player one. Yeah. You're the winner. Good game. Thank you so much for playing.